All right, man. Pan the perspective, man. We back. I gave you niggas. I let niggas do what they was gonna do. You know what I'm saying? I was, if niggas want to start a podcast or whatever, I let. I gave people time, bro. You know what I'm saying? But nah, real shit. I got my mind together and all that. So let me just go ahead and give y'all the rundown real quick, and then we'll talk about the topic at hand. So number one, I'm not speaking on every trending topic, whatever people are talking about. I'm talking about what I want to talk about, bro. I gave, I did the groundwork. Y'all saw, I spoke on everything, showed you my angles, all that. I did all that. So now, the same with the music. I'm doing what I want to do. Like, I feel like I did what I was supposed to do coming in the door. So now I'm doing what I want to do. So that's number one. Number two, bro, I'm not being sensitive to it. I don't, if I offend you, bro, then make a channel and, re, and you know what I'm saying, react to how I offended you or shut the fuck up. Because at this point, bro, any nigga that come in the comment talking sideways, I'm going to ask you for your IG. I'm going to ask you for your Facebook, something. And if you don't give it to me or you try to, well, I, ain't, I don't see why I got to, that's cool. I'm pulling your IP address. So I'm letting it be known up front right here on the first video, bro. So it ain't no, man, why, if you talk sideways, bro, I'm going to ask for your, the whole show your face campaign by Ayo Kaseka. We pushing that. And if you don't do it, nigga, I'm pulling your IP address. So, but now let's talk about what? Shaq, bro. Shaq, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You hurt me. Like, you physically, like, this kind of fucked me up. Emotionally, that shit fucked me up. Like, so, you, I don't know what the connection is between you and this rapper that I've never heard of. But not only did you give him a verse, you gave the nigga a cook. A custom multi-millionaire million dollar car, bro. I'm straight off work too, my bad. But uh dog, this white boy. Like, do you know what you did for black kids growing up, bro? Like I don't even like sports like that. But the the dominance you asserted, me seeing that as a child, I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? That, that's what a man do. Like I I fuck with that. I fuck with. And then even to where you, you, Ernie, you know, Charles, he on his shit too, whatever the fuck. But you, bro, like, I could always, I knew, like, watching you, I'm like, I could be feeling down today. And I'd be like, man, I know Shaq gonna make me laugh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know Shaq gonna stand on principle. I know he gonna stand on, you know what I'm saying, certain shit. So, but you doing that, bro, I'm gonna say it like this. From this point forward, because I know you live in Houston. From this point, or Texas, some, I, I thought it was Houston, I could be wrong. But from this point forward, bro, if something happens to you, and I'm not trying to speak that on you, but if something happens to you, bro, you got to chalk that shit up. You got to chalk that shit up. Like, you can't do that. And I noticed bloggers and shit didn't post. I got this shit off an article. Like, an article hit my phone. I'm like, what the fuck? So I noticed bloggers, black bro bloggers, media companies and shit, they didn't really push that. Because like I said, who the fuck is this white boy that's rapping? Never heard of this nigga. And he from Chicago. But I'm holding you accountable, bro. That's fucked up, nigga. Especially like, dog, you, to me personally, I feel like you the hardest, um, you the hardest rapper that's a basketball player. Like, Damian Lillard, he nice, too. And then the mother niggas that just came out, I forgot their names, but that shit, that shit hard. But that shit, you can't stop the rain, bro. That shit is so fuck. that's, like, that's global. Like, that's undeniable. Like, that's, like, yeah, bro, there ain't no, you got to put Shaq in that line, bro. I don't give a fuck where. I'll let you put him wherever you want to, but you got to put him in that line, bro. Like, that shit was impactful as fuck. And then you got Biggie on that hoe, too. Like, but you doing that, bro, like. I say that to say, dog, we're at the time now. We can't put no stock in these entertainers. We can't put no stock in, in these rappers, bro. We can't. How long these niggas done had money? How long Jay-Z done had money, bro? What has Jay-Z done for the black community? I, that's the question. Get in the comments and tell me that. What has Jay-Z or Beyonce, I ain't gonna say Beyonce, I ain't really got no issue, bro. But what has Jay-Z done for the black community? And I, I'm telling you right now, any motherfucker that jump in, in the comments and say, him just 
him just being him, bro, that's motivate. That's bullshit. That's a fucking cop out. That's bullshit. I'm not buying it. And I'm asking you to show your IG when you say that dumbass comment. I'm letting it be known now, bro. That's bullshit. You don't want to hold motherfuckers accountable. Motherfucker talking about, yeah, him just being him, man. That's that's enough. It's okay, so show me what you done with your life. You fuck with Jay Z, right? You fuck with Jay Z, right? So show me what, how Jay Z impact you in your life. Show me that. If you can't show me that, then we're back at what the fuck I just said. Niggas is not helping the black community. And don't give me a cup. Well, he done this and then, bro. No, everybody. It should be fucking rhetoric, nigga. When you get some money, you need to do this for the community. We shouldn't even have to fucking ask you. And I'm not going I'm not going to transcend this conversation, but what do niggas do when they get money? They go get a white bitch. It's like, damn, you just going to leave the community all together, huh? You done got your money and now you oh, I'm out this hole. And if you want to back though that with when you get money, you got to leave, okay? You can help from afar. You ever heard of that? Help somebody from afar? Nigga, if somebody hit my line right now, Phil, you got 50 I can hold? Yeah, I got you. Let me send that up. Uh, I ain't even see that motherfucker. You know, I ain't even see that person, but I helped him from afar. Why rappers can't do that? Why rappers can't have that ear to the ground? Like, okay, Phil got some movement. And I'm not saying me, bro. I'm just, I ain't gonna say me. Fuck it. Uh, let me think. Let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. Uh, fuck, I can't think of cuz name. But, uh, ATM. I think ATM something. He from Dallas. I see him doing shit. Let me put him on the song. Hey, I want you to get on this feature, bro. I'm I'm yellow. I'm trap boy. Hey, I see uh 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 Keystone Poke nigga. Hey, jump on this hoe. You know what I'm saying? Niggas not doing that. Niggas is gatekeeping. And I feel the only motherfucker that's not gonna help somebody up under him, you look at that motherfucker as a threat. That's why you don't want to help them, because if you help them, he might take your spot. But the only way you will feel that is if you feel that people can duplicate what you've done. Me, personally, I don't mind helping people with music. Because I remember when I started, nobody wanted to help me. And I told myself then, nigga, I'll be down. If I get to the position, I'm helping motherfuckers. You got me fucked up. And I, I do that because I'm comfortable with my music. Hey, Mo, ain't no song you can rap by me that somebody can rap and you can say, you gonna say, oh, that's Phil. I, I can say, by the way, that's how that's Phil. So I'm comfortable in that. And since I'm comfortable in that, I don't mind helping other people. YouTube-wise, too. Uh, Pold and Slow, too. Nigga, Panda Gaming, too. All that shit, I don't mind. Nigga, you gotta try, because I want to see my people get somewhere. I'm not one of them people that when I get some money, yes, I'm up, nigga. Y'all, y'all, y'all praise me, nigga. Yeah, y'all praise me. I'm nah, nah, ain't nobody after me. It's me, nigga. Fuck you talking about. I don't like that shit, bro. So now that we know what the fuck it is, we need to move accordingly. Now that we know rappers are not gonna save us, football players, basketball players, niggas is not gonna save us. It's niggas that's multi millionaires, billionaires that's black, and we don't know them. You know why we don't know them? Cause motherfuckers don't help us. So why would I know him? If I go do research, I'm pretty sure. I haven't seen nobody done it. Nobody's done it, bro. And if you do the anonymous, oh, he did this, he did this. Dog, Marshawn Lynch is probably the realest athlete I know. Like, him not changing up means a lot. To be honest, Ja stand, like, Ja moving the way he moved. That means a lot to me. At least you ain't parading around this bitch with a white hoe. So, I mean, I do respect you. But, like I said, now that we know that rappers are not going to help us, black people with money are not going to help us, we need to start moving accordingly. So, stop with the fucking reparations. I'm not looking for my oppressor to save me. Let me tell you this, bro. You thinking that your oppressor is going to give you money to fund your uplifting 
is fucking psychotic. The reason we go through the shit we do is because the only people that don't understand it is us, nigga. If we get killed by police, hard to get a job, you know what I'm saying? It's just hard to do everything. It makes you question like, damn, why is it easy for everybody else, but it's hard for me? I ain't done shit. We the only people that's here that didn't ask to be here. Like, we got brought here. So, you, oh, when my reparations hit, that's when I'm going to do some shit. Yeah, that, that's a, that's when I'm going to do some shit, when that reparations hit. What if it don't hit? Then we just wasted all this time waiting, especially you saying this publicly. So, you like I said, your oppressor is, oh, they won't. That's when they're going to make a change? All right, I'm going to make sure they never get reparations. Like, that's easy. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? Like, oh, they said, you, you see the black folks? No, what they said? They said, when we give them money, that's when they're going to break away from us. Oh, then we're not going to give them no money. The fuck, bro? Like, are y'all, it's not. I'm for the betterment of my people. If you was confused about that, let me tell you, I am for the betterment of black people. I don't hate nobody. I don't hate no other race. I just care about my people. Some people don't feel comfortable around their people. I feel very comfortable around black people. All that. We have to stop, and I'm going to do another video about that, but we have to stop belittling ourselves because we want to be accepted by others. Nigga, you want to be accepted by others. I don't want to be accepted by others. As long as I'm accepted by my people, I'm good, nigga. Because it makes me question, if I'm being accepted by others, then I wonder how my people feel. Are y'all good too? Like everybody, that's how my mind works. Like I ain't trying to be no token nigga, no good nigga, no, no, bro, fuck that. Like it's very cut and dry with me, bro. This is our issue. How do we fix this issue? So like I said, the next time, the next time something in the community happens, stop fucking tagging rappers. Like, oh man, he should, so-and-so got wrongly convicted. He should bail him out. Why? When this nigga is on IG with a 50K talking about, yeah, nigga, this is my play money. When that dude's bond is 50K, but it's not posted. And that's your play money. To be honest with you, nigga, you're, pro you, you're not even, yeah, you're an enemy now. You would have to look at it like that. You would have to look at it like, oh, yeah, that nigga is not, no. No. If we sitting there asking you, hey, bro, you think you could do something for the kids? You know what I'm saying? People are having a hard time getting Christmas gifts or something like that. Like, can you do something? And you're not getting no response, so you're like, man, nigga, get your shit. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. That bullshit. Okay. And we just pushed you on the other side of the people we're trying to get away from. Or we know that's not helping us. We have to do that, bro. We have to. If we don't do that, stop fucking complaining about people not helping us. If you're not going to hold niggas accountable. That's just... That's the way I feel. Like I said, I don't look at the motherfuckers to save me, nigga. When I see an issue in the city, I'm not, oh, man, let me call Charles. Well, I ain't going to say Charles White. Uh, oh, man, let me call uh, CJ Casino and see if he got bail money to bail this innocent black man out. Let me call Bugatti Casino. Let me call Twisted Black. That shit don't go through my fucking mind, bro. I'm sorry. And if it ever did, it stops right now. Because Shaq is over here getting Rolls Royce to white men that don't need a fucking Rolls Royce. And I dare one of you motherfuckers to try to defend that. Because I don't recall... Fuck it, I don't... I would say zero, but zero's a grown man, so I, I give him that. But I don't see this nigga out with black kids trying to... Hey, man, I know y'all got an issue or whatever, but, you know, I'm just trying to... Even if it don't work, the attempt is respected. You're not doing that. You're in Chicago fucking with a white rapper, bro. Why are you not fucking with Dirk? Or, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? J. 
Chance the I was Chance the Rapper, Kanye with like why are you fucking with this white boy? Like why are you not helping your own people? I'm sorry, that's just and we talking about rap here. We're not talking about you know what I'm saying, like some business. We talking about rap, bro. So you you not only are you not rapping with your own people, the people that created rap, you gonna go over here and give this nigga a verse plus a fucking Come on, bro. Come on, fool. Like I said, that shit stop. That shit hurt me, bro. That shit really fucking hurt me. Like, and you know, if it don't hurt you, hey man, that's cool. But I'm be honest, that shit hurt me, bro. Like, to look up to somebody just as a black man, like, you take care of your family and shit, bro. And it's like, bro, but you do that. Like, that hurts, fool. That hurts. I don't give a fuck what way you want to cut it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit sucks, bro. So, that that was my breaking point. I'm like, you know what? I'm not putting no more... I'm not putting no more stock in these entertainers and rappers and shit. Like, if you feel like you got to keep your money, the way you got to keep your money is to stay away from black folks or keep the issue that we have going, and, and more power to you, bro. But... Respect wise, it's out the door, bro. I'm not, I'm not. I would be less of a man to, to keep fucking with you after seeing that shit. Like, nah. So, like I said, if this shit don't bother you, it don't fucking bother you, and that's cool. But me, I'm done, bro. I'm not looking at these rappers. Y'all niggas will sit here and cry when a nigga that antagonizes somebody, nigga, fuck your dead homies, fuck all that shit. When them niggas die, y'all wanna. Oh man, we gonna, ded- we gonna dedicate today to that dude, man. Niggas is crying and shit about a nigga that got what the fuck he asked for. But when a when an innocent black man gets killed, can't get no attention on that shit. Niggas is actually cracking jokes about this shit. So, like I said, bro, I'm I'm off that shit. I'm I'm fucking I'm 27, bro. I'm not. I'm, that shit is not entertaining. That shit is not funny. None of that shit, bro. Like, y'all still want to play like that? Don't complain about where the fuck we at. Don't fucking complain. Don't sit here and say, we need reparations. Nigga, you're not acting like you need reparations. Manage the money you have now. If you want to show somebody you're responsible, you have to show them you're responsible for what you already have. If that's what y'all want. Because like I said, I'm not looking for my oppressed. I don't give a fuck about no reparations. And that's not to knock people that's looking at it but me personally i'm not waiting for these motherfuckers to, to, to help me and save me because i don't believe they're gonna do it these motherfuckers still don't even believe we bro six asian people get killed pass pass an anti uh asian hate bill bro how many niggas gotta get killed for us to get some laws around this motherfucker bro you got women getting killed just getting shot through doors and the police don't even arrest the woman. Oh, I gotta investigate. Fuck it up. Hey, I, I, hey, hey, Panda Game Militia, nigga. It's Panda Perspective, bro. Uh, I got more shit coming. Texas talking about. Uh, shout out to TT Naughty. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to AO. Shout out to Grump. Shout out to Katrina. Shout out to um, uh, Naeem. Of course, Naeem. That's my sister. Chop. All that. The Black Pole. Elegy. Everybody, bro. Uh, like I said, bro, I'm here. I'm here now, bro. I'm here now. So you know what I'm saying. I appreciate everybody that, that support me and shit. We gonna keep it going.